way to do friends. Hi, it's Heather here. And Lydia, your teacher friends, today bringing you another exciting maths activity which combines 3D shapes, engineering, science, and distraction. This is what we promise you. And here are the materials you'll require for this activity. Great. So what we're doing in this video is giving you an idea, a bit of a sneak peek at what will happen when the students do this activity. So we don't, you don't even want to show them this, but then you can know <laughs> and you can know how to guide them or not guide them when they're making their shapes and testing them out. Should we get started? We should. So we've got a couple of shapes we've made already, but we'll quickly do rolling a cylinder. Right. Nice, easy one for the kids to do. No edges do, or anything. So I'll do mine lengthwise. All right. Okay. Remember, oh. we're only using paper and tape. Then let me help you out with this first. I can just do one piece. Okay. And I will allocate you a maximum of two pieces, two pieces. for yours. Ooh, pat, I, think, I, I think what's important here is to make sure that the edges are flush. Thank you. Because when we're testing out the strength of these shapes, we actually want to be testing the strength, not how good you are at not balancing. The balance. So that little pat down move you did on the top, definitely one you might need to use on some uh, constructions. Okay. So let's you did put promise aside? destruction, didn't you? Which, I did. Which shape would you like to test first? So let's compare these three, three of these different three uh, shapes. And to compare which one will give us the most destruction, uh, my guess is for that. Yes. <laughs> the so triangular prism. Easy choices of materials to use to test out the strength of these shapes. Shoes, kids are all wearing them. We can try putting a shoe on top. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so I see some damage there. You want to try the books. Let, 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 let's go with books because we can keep stacking books and quantify how many it takes before it um, it's destroyed. I definitely can't fit more than one shoe. Okay. Maybe a prep shoe. Let's do that. Ooh. Oh. That's one. Okay, <laughs> that's two. That's two for the triangular prism. Shall we go for shoe? The square prism. Yes, let's go for the shoe. All right, it's holding steady. Nice. Holding steady. We okay. might see some of these shapes in buildings. If we're thinking about those links to engineering, we could see whether we find any of these particular mm. shapes at school. Okay. Okay. Let's go with. I'm pretty confident book Oops. is going to be all right now. You want to do the second okay, one? Yeah, I'll do the second. It's like playing Jenga, is it not? Jenga. <laughs> Oops. Was that three? I think that means I lose, yeah? No. All right, one more shape. Let's go with the cylinder. I'll go first. Okay, and one. And two. I think the secret to this is to not breathe, just to hold your breath. Oh. Depends how many books you have to put on. <laughs> Quite like air. Are you competitive? I made this cylinder. I want to show you how strong it is. Okay. Are we at one, two, three, four, five, six books? Okay. Okay. So that call was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Lucky number seven. Oh, I was hoping to get the shoe on top as well. So uh, one of the tips if you are going to use shoes, do this activity on the floor because we don't want to get things from our shoes all over our desks as well. Uh, but let's have some fun with these strong shapes. Strong shapes, Lydia. So we showed you a sneak peek of testing these three different shapes. Uh, your students may come up with some other interesting shapes that they try to make also. And we saw there that out of these three shapes, that the cylinder was the strongest shape that we could make. We might uh, see some of these shapes also. Cylinders are a bit like our bones, nice and strong, Absolutely, Lydia. absolutely. 
And there's one thing we can guarantee, that your kids will have so much fun building and destroying uh, and realizing that math is that it is so much fun. So we're checking out here now, us and our strong, strong shapes. Thank you.